Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Potato Panda TV here today, and I know this is a little bit later than what I normally do my Magic the Gathering videos, but uh, I know I usually try to do those on Monday, but I guess it's just kind of one of those things where I was kind of lost track of the days, and I didn't really have anything to upload for that, so I happened to... I got a while ago I started up this a subscription I can't I can't really see it but I didn't want to show you the label I guess you can see the label on this side it's um called a uh, fantasy crate I know I can't really see it very good on that side but um it's called fantasy crate where um, I guess I know there's two different I guess I think they offer two different subscriptions I forget exactly what they are offhand, but um, I know I picked one of my, for some reason I don't know how they ship these out, or they usually think, say they ship them out between the 15th and the 20th of the month, but I believe I, it's June, I believe I started my first subscription, was supposed to have been the May subscription, but it's already the end of June, and this is the first one I've gotten, so I'm not exactly sure if this is supposed to be my May box or my June subscription, but again, um, I guess this is, we'll see what we got. Um, I know they send a combination of supplies and cards, and I think one of them might be more focused on supplies with fewer cards, and one might be focused more on cards and fewer supplies, but I can't really exactly remember like which is which or anything, but um, I'll definitely leave a link to the, the company and the website in the comment section down below, but um, first thing they got sent me is, um, I got a 100 pack of standard gaming card protectors. Um, it's got a, this is a, I think this is Vivian or Vivian or Viv Vivian from uh, Ikoria. So this is uh, fairly doesn't really say. Um, I guess it doesn't really say what set they're from, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, Vivian from uh, Ikoria, and that's one reason why I think I. It's uh, Vivian, or I forget her full name is, but I happened to pull her from, like a full art card of her from Ikoria. So this again, I'm assuming this must be probably June's box, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, let's see, got some, let's, uh, one, two, three, four, five packs. And I got a, I guess a, I got a deck box and it sounds like it's a, so it looks like it's a hundred card deck. So it looks like it's a 100 plus standard gaming cards, double sleeves. And I guess it's a, Commander deck, or for Commander deck, and it sounds like it's got something on the inside, so I guess we'll kind of go ahead and see what the, what's on the inside of there, and um, let's see what packs so this is. Uh, it's kind of nice that they, um, is this, uh, they got uh, two packs of Throne of Eldraine. Two, uh, then, uh, two packs of Theros, and then a pack is just a pack of a pack of uh, Theros. Uh, this is a click the collector. Or the I don't know, I forget exactly what this is. The collector's edition or whatever collector's box or whatever they call it so I guess they got that's a I think this is these are the packs that were going anywhere from like 15 to like 20 dollars or something so 
it's kind of neat that they threw one of these bigger packs and I like that. So um, I guess so. Like I said, I was gonna open up this little box first. Um, just let me get my computer set up here or moving around my mouse. That's because there's times where I, I accidentally halfway through a video I accidentally push my like, mouse button and I cancel out uh, or I stop recording halfway through and I don't realize that I stopped recording so I get half a video recorded and I don't have anything else to record because I already opened up everything so that's why I try to uh, my best to keep my the mouse away so I don't accidentally bump them bump the mouse and stop recording oh and I guess there wasn't anything on the inside, just one of these little things, I guess. I don't know, I put, the, put these in there. I don't know if you can use them to separate. Or what I guess I usually do is just put that at the front and put, um, if when I do like a commander deck, I put the, put this little divider thing up and put like the ones I have on my commander deck in the back and then put the commander in the front of the back and then I use this little divider to put like in from the very front of the divider I put like sorry I'm not demonstrating that very well but in front of this thing I'll put like as I'm searching through cards I'll put like if I find cards I might want to use into my commander deck I'll put, oops, sorry about to put that in front of the divider and see my belly sticking on now. Well, I've seen a couple of comments here or there. Uh, people give me crap about being having a fat belly, but I, <laughs> I mean, it's like I know I'm not don't know I'm fat, so I don't know if people act like they have to point that out, but it is what it is. And I'm kind of a loud breather, so I apologize ahead of time if I'm kind of breathing loud. And um, let's see, just focus on my anything on like mostly on the like the rares and the commons. And this is the first pack of uh, Throne of Eldraine, or just kind of Eldraine as they call it now. Seeing if there's any cards that are kind of useful, look useful. Um, I guess I could probably use it. Um, it's a cra crashing drawbridge artifact creature wall or artifact artifact creature wall two colorless and it's um it's a defender and it's a zero four and every time you tap it um, your creatures have haste. Which I think was his haste. Um, haste is that the don't, or they can be used right away and they don't have to sit out around for or for battlefield insertion or whatever I forget exactly what it is where they they can be used right away and let's see <laughs> uh, which is cottage you tap you add a red or a black when it enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other swamps when it enters the battlefield untapped you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library and epic downward Target creature with converted mana cost three or greater, or exile it. And there's nothing really spectacular from that set or from that pack. On the rare is a witch's vengeance sorcery creature of creatures of the creature type of your choice get minus three, minus three until end of turn. I mean, I guess that only works for work on against your opponent. This camera looks kind of crooked, so I'm seeing if I can maybe level that out a little bit. 
I don't think I, not that I think that helps out any, but um, a second pack of the, um, I guess I said throwing some of the stuff away. And let's see, I got again put the warrior of the myth mythic in the back. You know, just kind of go through those cards and. Um, see if there's anything that looks decent. I have do have a fairy fairy deck, so I probably I mean, I'm sure I probably already have that one in there, but it doesn't guess it wouldn't hurt to put it in there just in case. Equip creature gets one oh a crystal slipper. I thought it might be something, but it doesn't really look like it's too much. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. And mostly uh, the deck I'm kind of working on now, or the decks I'm kind of working on now, are combinations of like dinosaurs and uh, what's those dragons. So, and uh, so it's mostly what I'm looking for are dinosaurs and dragons at the moment. And I was kind of looking for Godzilla's, but I. You really haven't pulled any too many Godzillas out of Ikoria, so I'm not really probably gonna do too much with Godzilla. And there's our rare stolen on by the Fey. So certain turn target creature with converted mana cost X to its owner's hand. You create X one one blue fairy creatures tokens with flying. So I guess that's just, um, X is just however many colorless you decide to use. So if you use five colorless, you return target creature with converted mana cost of five to its owner's hand. You create five one one blue token creatures with flying. I guess that's what I thought I've told. Somebody's told me how, many, how that's when... It says like X colorless. You just decide how you just um, however many you can use. So if you only have like two cards, you can use or two land, you can use as colorless. It's X is only two, but if you have like eight, you can use eight colorless. You can the X would be an eight. And again, that's uh, uh let's help. Let's see. Uh, and this is what I liked about the. Uh, Theros cards, and I kind of wish they had done with Ikoria's, done the, like the full, full art line, or full art lands. Yeah, let's just, uh, kind of see, go and skim through these just to see if there's anything that catches my eye. Chimera thing kind of looks like a, kind of like a, almost like a Wendigo. If anybody knows what Wendigos are. are. And there's another like Chimera, but it's just a... Uh, I guess that's what a Chimera is. It's something, something that's got a... Uh, there was a lion, goat, and a... Tiger head or something like that. Or eagle head or something. And now I've looked it up, but I can't exactly remember what it says. And let's see. I haven't really seen anything much yet. Um, still kind of, uh, okay, and here's a, kind of few of these before, um, these, uh, Saga cards. The birth of Melitus, as a Saga, uh, enters, and after you draw, step, and a lower counter, sacrifice after three, switch over for basic plains land. Put it in your hand, shuffle library, two, create zero four colorless wall, and then the third you gain two life, so it's nothing extra, nothing special. And then the rare is a Sphinx Dream Traveler. And it's flying left lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Traveler gets one plus one plus zero until the end of turn. 
Whenever you tax, draw a card, discard a card, dream traveler gains, hex proof until in a turn, tap it. So that's kind of a neat card. Uh, I have like a fairy deck kind of thing, but it's, I mean, it's mostly fairy, but it's also kind of got anything related to flying with it, so anything that's, I guess, non dinosaur. Or dragon related flying, I put that in that, or that deck. And, let's see. So, no, this is the second pack of, what was this, uh, Theros? Yep. So, uh, yeah, I kind of was like, I don't know, it's not that they do much, but I was kind of like these Death Touch cards for some reason. It's kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm not really sure why, just it's kind of one of those things I've always kind of liked. And I guess that's, um, uh, where is a Kraken? Whenever you draw a card, you may pay... One colorless, if you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Nadea Kraken and create a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creature token. So, nothing too spectacular with that pack either, but I don't know, just never mind, just putting that card behind me because I, for some reason, just put all my... Whenever I get like legendary creatures or anything legendary, I have in the binder for some reason. So I got a lot of legendary enchantment. So, but I don't know. It does what it is. It's kind of. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but I think I bought a binder for some reason and just to kind of give me a reason to use the binder. So this is um, the Theros. Collector booster, so I think these were, like I said, maybe like I don't know how much they are. I think they're a little bit cheaper now, but at one point they were like twenty some dollars a pack or something. So and they're all foil cards, so um, let's see. not sure. It's, I guess we got a couple, I think I got a three rare, looks like I got three rares in here. So, um, so and then it looks like this token is a double-sided token, so satire on the front and Kraken on the back. It's kind of a neat looking card. Um, I put that in my binder just for the heck of it. And then these are just um, some legendary enchantment creatures. Um, Dex, Dexus, Blast of the, Blast of the, Blast of the Sun, and Calafi, Beloved by the Sea. So, so I, mean, I guess this one's not foiled, but I think the rest, or most of the rest of them are. And then here is this one. I think I may have, I don't know if I have them foiled, but I think I have at least both of these cards, both of these cards. Um, so, that was back there. Uh, enchanted creature, a beast. It's um, kind of like that card. So it's I don't know why. Three dog, or a dog with three heads. Basic ledge, legendary creature. Um, demigod. That's kind of, after I doubt it's probably worth much, but it's kind of a neat looking card. So I'll put that aside, and like I said, it's probably not worth much, but um, let's see here. 
That was a nightmare. Sad guy, I don't really think anybody wants me to read that. And then these. Uh, kind of these. Uh, these. Neat looking. Oops. These neat looking kind of. Uh, uh, full art foils. So there's that. We got our three, I think we got three rares. One of them's a, kind of like a showcase or whatever they call them it looks like. And the first one is Tectonic Giant. Um, this is just a normal rare. Whenever Tectonic Giant attacks or becomes a target of a spell or opponent, this opponent controls choose one, Tectonic deals three damage to each opponent. Adds out top to two cards of your library. Choose one of them until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. So it's kind of a neat looking card. Let's set him aside. And um, Serpent of Yawning Depths. Uh, He's an enchanted enchantment creature. Krakens, leviathans, octopuses, and serpents you control can't be blocked except by krakens, leviathans, octopuses, or serpents. Another kind of, it's kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to see, but kind of a neat looking card. And then this is the hurricanes. I guess it looks like it's kind of a combination of bordered and extended art, but um. Diasis, Oracle. No, it's, uh, when Thiasis is Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library, and the rest on the top and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So, I mean, I guess this would be, I mean, a card if you play it would be more kind of, I guess, towards the end of the card, or end of the game, mid, at least mid part of the game, where if you'd have to, if you'd have a gun rid of, like, probably, like, I mean, you'd probably have, um, I mean, you'd have to have a bunch of mana on your board, so if you had, like, some reason had, like, 40 mana on your cards and you only had, like, 30 cards left in your data library, you'd win. But, um, I guess that's pretty much it for this video, but, um, again, sorry, this is a day or a little bit later than what I normally do, so I'm not sure if I'll continue to upload magic videos on Monday, only Mondays, or if I'll just kind of do them whenever, whenever I guess just kind of whenever feels best, but um, I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video, and I will hopefully see you next time.